Hey, today I'm going to be talking about Emma Hamilton, the most famous woman in 18th century England, and lover to Admiral Horatio Nelson, who you can find out more about here. Emma started life as nobody in a small mining town, but facing poverty and maybe even starvation, she left the country for London, as so many did, in search of fame and fortune. However, it wasn't that easy, and in the end, the only way she could make money was by selling herself in brothels of Covent Garden. She was set apart from the other girls, however, by her unusual beauty, and so she was able to find many patrons, including Greville, shown here, to whom she became a full-time mistress. He thought that she was so beautiful that he commissioned a portrait to be done of her by an up-and-coming painter, George Romney. This painting was unusually provocative in an age where even an ankle showing was perceived as a bit risque. But there was a high demand and so Emma became Romney's muse, posing for numerous paintings such as these. But her most famous painting is this one, Emma as Serp. Greville was in serious debt to many, including his uncle Sir Hamilton, and in order to pay off his debts he married a wealthy heiress. This left no room for Emma and so she was sent to Naples to live with Sir Hamilton as his mistress, in part to pay off Greville's debts. A few years later, Emma and Sir Hamilton were married. Naples is a beautiful city in Italy, which then would have been a whole country with the surrounding lands, and therefore it had its own king and queen who Emma befriended, as she was now a member of high society, especially after her marriage. When war broke out with France, Emma practically ran the country on their behalf, even organising the escape of the entire court to Sicily after the French invasion. It was around then that she met Lord Admiral Horatio Nelson, who, despite his grand title, was a bit worse for wear, with only one arm and one eye, having lost them in various daring attacks. He swept her off her feet, and they started to have an affair. In 1800, all three moved back to England together, and even after Sir Hamilton's death, Emma and Nelson never married, as he already had a wife who was unwilling to divorce him. They did have a daughter, though, Horatia. Nelson died in the Battle of Trafalgar, please see my video here, leaving her penniless. Despite all the rich and wealthy friends who she had entertained during her prosperous years, no one came to her aid, not even the King and Queen of Naples. Emma had always tried to spend her way out of debt, but this did not succeed this time, and after a stint in Deputy's prison, she fled to war-torn Calais and died, poor and alone. Her daughter Horatia married a vicar, and they settled in Kent where they had three eight children. Horatia would always acknowledge who her father was, as shown in this painting, where she is seen kneeling in front of his tomb. But she would never acknowledge that she was the daughter of a disgraced Lady Emma Hamilton. I hope that you have enjoyed the short overview of Emma's life, and I'll leave a biography suggestion below. Please like, comment and subscribe for more of my videos. Thank you.